How's it going guys? I'm Oz and welcome to a very special episode of Behind the Scenes with Oz! Since the recent success of the PT demo, Silent Hill, um, heaps of people have been asking me how do I get my heart rate monitor to work. Now, I came up with the idea a long, long time ago with the whole um, Amnesia the Dark Descent. I was just like, damn, my heart rate's going so fast and I wish, you know, there was some way of recording it. And when I finished the series, uh, my friends online from Kingdoms of Camelot, <laughs> Um, they were like, hey, you know, have you ever thought of getting a heart rate monitor? And so I looked at medical heart rate monitors, but they were like thousands of dollars. And it wasn't quite what I was after, um, quite obviously. So I did a bit of research and I found that the best way of getting a live heart rate monitor was probably something like a fitness heart rate monitor. And that's what I've got now. Um, I'm currently wearing it. And all it simply is, this is my other one that isn't quite as accurate. I had this one at the beginning and just gave me readings that probably weren't all that accurate. Um, and it just simply goes around my chest like, whoop, if I stand up, around like that. Underneath the bra, yes. Um, <laughs> so what you need to do is moisten the electrodes, which is like these, this thing here. And that way you can pick up on your heart rate. Now, the way that I actually record it, it Bluetooths live to my iPad. Now, normally, you need to read the instructions if you guys do this yourself. Make sure that you have an updated iPad. iPhone doesn't work because the writing's way too small. I really recommend some form of tablet. Um, and make sure that you have the right version. So I know that um, iPad 3 Gen doesn't work. It needs to be iPad 4 or further, or iPad 3 and further, something like that. So all I simply do is I set up a second camera. So I've got one camera to record myself. And then I've got a second camera that I use on my partner's computer, just over here, I'm about to show you, um, to record the actual heart rate. So if I, ready? We're going to go on a journey together, guys. Whoa. So over there, as you can see, I have my heart rate. Now if I zoom in a bit, you can see the camera just there with the Halle Berry. Yeah, that's a perfume. I, don't, I never use it. I got it for Christmas. Um, and you can see the 87, 92, and then 97, you know, I'm a bit higher than the normal rating, which is 80 beats per minute, not per second. Obviously, I was really flustered with the Silent Hill video, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, um, as you can see, it's recording with the, what is it called, the Logitech webcam thing, and all dandy. So when that stops, when I stop recording, obviously I press stop, I put that footage, whoa, this is so close, hang on, let's, let's zoom out a bit there, you know, I need to see all of this. Um, <laughs> when I finish recording, I transfer the file from my partner's computer onto my computer, and that's just via USB. And then what happens is I drop it into Sony Vegas. Now, if we have a look at Sony Vegas, I can't just simply, we'll have a look at the PT silent demo. This is, this is the first one, as you can see, I'll just make that a little bit bigger. Oh, that's a lovely face. Um, as you can see, if I put the raw footage in there, which is from, let's go into here, Silent Hill demo. You have to see my folder, guys. <laughs> I should have done this earlier. Um, new webcam, and then if we go down to Silent Hill, where is it? There. And we use we go video eleven because that's the raw footage of it. Okay. So this is the raw footage of it. This is what it looks like when I put it into Sony Vegas. Now the problem about this is is that when I go to crop it to make it a lot smaller, because we don't obviously need it that big, is that I just can't get it small enough and it doesn't look right because there's no way of me cutting this bit here or that sort of thing. It, it just doesn't really work for me. Actually, I could actually do that. Oh my god. No, no. So when I go to crop it like that, yeah, that's the reason why. So there's no, there's, there's no way of making it any smaller than that. I mean, there probably is a way. And maybe you guys that are savvy with um, Silent Hill, oops, Silent Hill, <laughs> with Sony Vegas <laughs> would know a way. But what I do, if we delete that, is I put it into a separate Sony Vegas file. And so I render it separately. So if we go across here and just put a new one here, so this is the same one. Um, what I do is I crop it to a certain size. So I only need it so then it can show the actual heart rate bit. So this is how I crop it. Sorry, I'm not looking at you, but obviously I need to concentrate the screen. So that's what I do there. 
Now, when I've cropped it that size, obviously you've got these black lines here. You guys can see these black lines. I don't want that. I want something a bit more full. So I delete that one. So to get that, all I simply do is go into the cropping area and you can see here, you can see here the width and the height, this bit here. So if I go to files, properties, so if I just put that, if I go to files and then properties in here, you can see that I've made the width exactly the same. Now normally it's like, uh, what is it, 1920 and then 1080, something like that. And as you can see, you've got the black lines, all that sort of thing. If I go to, yeah, files, properties, and go the, you, only, you don't need to do the decimal point bits, you just need to go 691, 406, and go OK. Now, I normally render everything in uh, a WMV format, because what I find is that when I do MP4, um, it goes out of sync. But I find with heart rate monitor, it doesn't really matter so much that it goes a little bit out of sync, that's OK. So I normally render that in the MP format and it only takes about oh, 20 minutes to render whereas um, a WMV takes about five hours <laughs> to render a 30 minute clip so but I mean I don't get that syncing problem so I just have to deal with that and so I normally render when I'm at work so I have like five clips going at once so once that's rendered and that's all done I then drag the file into here so if we make this a little bit bigger so we can get this bit here so as you can see, that's where it is. Now obviously we have this black line thing because of the fact that, you know, the properties are back to the, oh, it's only 1280 by 720, that's right, because I only do it in 720p. Um, so what happens here is I've already got some uh, default, like preset cropping mechanics in here. So I simply go down to heart rate position. And if I put that back up in here, ooh, there we go. Um, you can see it there. And so what I need to do is get a new video track. It gets really technical, I guess, but at least you guys can have a look and see what I do with it, because there is a lot of work that goes into it, and each heart rate is different because, well, each time I do a session of a heart rate monitor, um, ooh, let's go back. What's happening is this little thing up here, um, it makes it go separately, not together, so I need to change it to that. Um, each one is different because of the fact that, you know, every time I set up my heart rate monitor, it, it sets up a little bit differently, like it's not perfect over there, so it changes on here. So I have to change the preset each time. It's really annoying. So now that we've got like a new um, track motion area, what happens now is I go into this bit here, which allows me to do a video event FX, and I go chroma key. And everyone knows chroma key, you see it all the time with the news, they have like a green screen behind them, all that sort of thing. So what I do is I get the ink pen and I just colour it blue, it doesn't really matter. And then what happens there is I go shadow mask only. And it's really simple and that's how I got the lines in the first one. You don't get the lines in the second one. Um, give you guys a show of the second one. But yeah, so that's all there really is to it. And then what I do from there is just I just need to make it smaller. So I just put it into the heart rate position. So heart rate location. Again, this is track motion, so this is changing the location of actually where it is. Um, I might have it a little bit higher. Again, it's only just a rough area. And then um, what I do is I normally stretch it a bit more. So she is oh from here. That's right. So I normally go no, and then just move it across a bit more. So that's basically the gist of it, and that's how I get my heart rate monitor, and that's how you guys see the end product of here. So it is a lot more messing around, there is a lot more time, but I guess when you really think of it, for example, I, I noticed there was one bit where I'm absolutely crapping myself, and if I put my headphones on... Oh, crap. Okay, where is it? I'm just going to skip ahead here so I can actually show you guys. I'm pulling the most ugly face, and I don't really, uh, this bit here, this is what I'm after. So, you guys can see as I'm pulling the face that my heart rate, you can see it's just spiking like nothing on earth. I'll make that a little bit bigger so you guys can actually see that. But as you see, a moment ago, I was only around, oh, 97, 93. So, this is only just happening in a matter of seconds, you know, less than a minute, that it spikes all the way up to, what, 134. Now, if I didn't have that on there, 
And this is the reason why I wanted to have the heart rate monitor, so you guys can actually see what I'm going through. If I didn't have that on there, you, you just think that I'm just putting this on and that I'm not actually stressing it out, you know? And I, I have all this bullshit, like being a YouTuber, you get all of this bullshit that, you know, oh, you're faking it, you're totally overreacting and all that sort of thing. And this is why I love it, because you guys can physically see what I'm going through. You know, what's happening in here. And like even now, having like my heart rate's jumping up because the adrenaline rush is happening. Because it's just really exciting to like show you guys <clears throat> what I'm going through. And I hope that by doing this, that we have a whole lot more of a connection. So you know, it, it's really exciting. And I plan to use it on all of my horror playthroughs. And this is a reason why that sometimes with horror playthroughs, it, it takes a bit longer to do. So my cry feel one. I was using my old heart rate monitor and it was just so unreliable it just refused to work on me all the time and so that's the reason why I stopped playing it because I just got pissed off with it so I didn't want to play Cry Fear without my heart rate monitor because I wanted you guys to see what we were going through. Now that I've got this one as soon as I can find time I'm gonna get back to Cry Fear it's just I've been so busy with other things you know but I hope that this will be our thing um, I, I, I am aware that there have been other YouTubers that use it occasionally, like back in the past it used to be this thing, but that was over, well over a year ago, and so I want this to be our thing, I want this to be something really exciting, because I think the reason why other people don't do it is because there is more work to it, and it is, it can be really frustrating how it just sometimes doesn't <laughs> want to work, so unfortunately just when I find time and it doesn't work, obviously I can't get back to it for another couple of weeks when I can find time again. So that's the reason why sometimes um, the, these horror series are going to be a bit slower to upload. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that this episode of um, Behind the Scenes with Oz. I think this, is, this shows exactly what I'm trying to achieve on this channel, this connection. And I'm really, really proud of it. Um, if you haven't already, like, favorite and subscribe. It's really good to have all the new people here. Welcome, guys, if you found me from PT Demo. Uh, hopefully you can understand more of what I'm going through. Um, comment below on what other things you want to see behind the scenes. If you haven't already, share this clip. I mean, like, this, is, this is really cool what we're going through. So um, I hope you guys are excited as I am. The channel is really growing. I'm really, really stoked with where we're heading. And I just, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, take care and I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you. Bye.